This is why we don't need a prenup, okay? Because we're both equally broke. Hey everyone, it's Akiva. And Meshach. And welcome to The Bemused. And today we're going to be talking about debt. We're going to be going over, uh, I guess, how we accumulated so much debt, why it's important to know how much debt you're in, and where you can find out how much debt you're in. Yep, no, this title is not clickbait. Yes, we are. $160,000 in debt combined. So we're gonna go into all of that in this video. You might be wondering, why is this so important to know how much debt I'm in? I've heard so many people complain about their student loans and their this and their that, and then you ask them how much debt they have or who their loan servicer is, they have no idea. A lot of people say, I wanna be rich someday, I wanna be wealthy, but they really don't know how wealth is calculated. And that is by your net worth, which is what you own, your assets minus what you owe, your liabilities, and your student loans and any other debt you have are part of those liabilities. So that's why it's so important to track. If you really wanna track how much wealth you're truly accumulating, you have to calculate your net worth. And that's a huge part of the equation. Most of our debt was student loans, uh, and we were able to find out the exact amount, including interest, on nslds.ed.gov. Yes, so that stands for the National Student Loan Database. So that's the database where you can find all of your federal student loans. We will link to the National Student Loan Database, the NSLDS website, in the description box below. So if you have federal student loans, you now know where to go to check your loan balance to see who your loan servicer is. And your loan servicer is the company that will actually be handling the repayment of your debt. Um, so I think I have Nelnet and my Parent Plus loans with Great Lakes, just as an example. I'm not sure. Yeah, I have Nelnet as well. Nelnet, exactly. So and you'll be able to see your balances and have that information at your disposal. Yeah, so we'll start with Akiva and how much debt she's in. Yes, so of our combined $160,000, 90,000 of it is mine. And so we're, we're kind of evenly split, 90, 70, so it's still a lot of debt. Coming down. This is why we don't need a prenup, okay? Because we're both equally broke. So of my debt, of my $90,000 in debt, about $81,000 is in student loans. And so I had from undergrad, I just have federal loans, by the way. Um, from undergrad, I took out about $27,000 for undergrad, about $21,000 for grad school. And then also when I was an undergrad, I have a Parent PLUS loan that my parents actually took out for me. So it's technically legally in their name, but I'm the one that's paying it back. And that was another $32,000. So all in all for education, I've taken out just over $81,000 in student loans. And then the other part of my debt is my car notes. So I bought a car about a year and a half ago. And so currently my balance on my car note is $8,603 exactly. So that is my $90,000 of debt. And for me, I have uh, $43,195 from undergrad uh, in student loans. Uh, for grad school, I have $21,000 uh, and change about that. Uh, and then I also took out a private loan uh, to finish paying off my grad program, well, this semester at least. And that was for $5,639.50. Uh, and that brings me to a grand total of $69,780.53. But I will add that uh, in this upcoming semester in the summer, I'm gonna have to take out another loan of about 10 to 13 thousand dollars so that can be added to my total so as you can see he's getting on me so much about my debt at the end of this summer he'll be at like 83 and i'll be at 90 so we'll be just about even and we'll be in what is that 173 thousand dollars in debt hopefully by that time i've paid a little bit down i'm paying you know this debt down bit by bit but just about yeah. yeah, and that is how much debt we're in. So right now our net worths are like negative. beyond negative. Yeah. Like I said, my goal by the time I'm 30 is just to have a positive net worth. Like 
We're not gonna be very ambitious here. As she mentioned, it's not just her student loans, it's also her car. So it's anything that you're in debt with, whether it's that brand new car that you bought, whether it's you took out a personal loan for whatever it might be. Medical bills, Any debt anything. that you have is what will be included in debt. that. Yeah, credit card debt, that's a huge thing yeah. for Thankfully, we don't have any credit card yeah. debt, which is great. Yeah. And that's something we never ever plan to do. Something we've never done, something we never plan yeah. to do. So even though we use our credit cards for everything, we do not yeah. plan on wrapping up We pay them off in debt. full at the end of the statement period. You guys can unsubscribe from my channel if, if the day comes where I ever pay a penny in interest on a credit card. So I'm telling you that right now. In the comment section below, don't forget to tell us how much debt you're in, how you acquired that debt, and which loan servicer you might have that debt with. Also feel free to tell us what video ideas you want to see from Ziv Amused what financial topics you might have questions about, and we will try our best to answer those questions in a way that doesn't completely suck the life out of you. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos to come. And don't forget to turn on notifications as well so that you'll always get an alert every time we upload a new video.